Now let's talk about saving our diagrams. Now in a video entitled Utilizing Diagrams, I demonstrated how to set these things up, how to get them working, and we actually created this one. It does not matter what tables you have on the diagram right now. Just make sure you know how to drop a table on here and make a few minor changes like I demonstrated in the video Utilizing Diagrams. But now here's the really, really cool thing about these. Notice that when I come up here to the top tab in the interface and click this to close this interface, it says, do you want to save changes to this diagram? I can say yes, and it will ask me for a name. And I'll just call this Test Diagram and say OK. Now, when I expand this over here, you can see Test Diagram is there. And just by double clicking it, I can get right back to that diagram. Notice it'll have to load it from the database, OK? But what's neat about that is I can right-click and create a new database diagram, and this time I can go grab just the tables that I'm going to be querying. There's password and person, and then we'll go up here and we will grab, I don't know, something else, business entity person, and we'll close that. And now I can highlight this one, set it to fit. There's what it looks like. Close it, save it. And I can call this my person diagram. So you can see what you can do. If you're going to be coding a lot of Transact SQL on this particular database, you may want to go in and build you some simple diagrams so that you can see how the data is organized. It can really help you with your joins and so forth. Now notice, I saved that, but I don't see anything showing up here. The reason is we need to refresh this. Now notice there's a button right here called Refresh. I can hit that, and when I refresh it, it'll show up. If you ever do anything over here and the object doesn't show up or appear the way you think it should over here, come up here and click Refresh, or you can right-click on the server and come down here and choose Refresh. It's the same thing. It's a little cleaner if you do it off of the button bar up here. But that is the way to save these diagrams. We can always come back to our person diagram and see what's going on. We can check our relationships. I pointed that out in utilizing diagrams, but you do need to be careful you can delete a relationship. Now, it'll give you a warning, but you want to uh, make sure you've had plenty of coffee early in the morning here. Don't damage your database by making changes here that you're not really paying close attention to. So anyway, that is the last we'll talk about diagrams for now, but I just wanted you to see that you can save these things and come back to them and back to them and back to them. And when you're doing certain really complex queries for reporting data and so forth, it's pretty awesome to be able to build a diagram, set it out there, label it in a way that you know you can get back to it. And you can always refer back to that when you need to go in and tweak that query for whatever reason. And there always seems to be about 53 reasons to go back in and tweak them, right? So anyway, there you go. That is saving diagrams.